I watched Squid Game The Challenge on Netflix last week. This was a huge game show where 456 players undergo a series of games and tests until only one player remains to win the prize of $4.56 million. I want to talk about the game that is presented to the final three players, as I think it's an interesting one. They're given three buttons, and they're told that each button has a different consequence. When pushed, one of the buttons will turn green, and whoever pushes that button would automatically make it to the final two and choose who goes to the final two with them. One of the buttons would turn red, and whoever pushes that button is automatically eliminated from the competition, and the other two players become the final two. And the third button would turn gray. Nothing happens to the person who presses that button, they sit back down and someone else presses one of the other two buttons. Now, none of the players have any idea which button is which, but they have to decide together which one of them will press a button. On the surface, this might seem like a game of pure chance. It might also seem like it doesn't matter who presses a button since the consequence could be good, bad, or neutral. However, there are a few things that someone could do to improve their chance of survival in this game. The first thing to keep in mind is that these three players have been competing for the last couple weeks. They've had time to get to know each other and develop friendships. They also don't know what the, the final game will be when there's just two players left. So if someone were to press the green button, then it makes sense that they may opt to save the person that they have a closer friendship with. So if someone did a better job forming friendships with the other two players more than they did with each other, then that person's social skills could give them a strong advantage in this game. Not only that, but if you are well liked and feel confident that the other two players would both save you over each other, then the best strategy for you would be to avoid pressing buttons. Because if you press a button, there's a chance you could hit red and get eliminated, but if you felt really confident that both players would save you, then you could just never press a button and there's no way you could get eliminated. Either someone will press green and save you or someone will press red and they'll get eliminated. What if both players prefer to save each other instead of you? What if you know that they are so close with one another that there's no way either of them would save you? Would it still be better to sit out and not press a button? Or would it be better to take matters into your own hands and press a button? It turns out that in that scenario, it actually doesn't matter to you who presses the buttons or what you do. Regardless of what happens, your chance of making it to the final would be 50% if the other players didn't want to save you. The reason why your chance of making it to the final would be 50% in this scenario is because the game is always going to end with either a green or a red button being pressed. It's 50-50 if it will end with green or end with red. It's true that there is a gray button, but if the gray button gets pressed first, that's essentially just delaying that red-green 50-50 coin flip to the next person to press a button. And if you're confident that the other players don't want to save you, then the coin flip is going to mean your life or death, regardless of who is pressing the button, whether it's you or one of them. Now, I know what you might be thinking, or at least this begs the question, what if you have absolutely no idea who your opponents would save if they press the green button? What if they're really keeping their intentions secret? Let's pretend that their actions are just completely random. What would be the best strategy in that scenario? If you press the first button, there's a one-third chance you hit green and make the final guaranteed. There's a one-third chance you hit red and have zero chance to make the final. Or there's a one-third chance you hit gray and someone else would press a button. If you hit the gray button and your opponents are acting randomly, then there's a 25% chance that you get eliminated because it's 50% that the next person hits green and 50% that they don't save you. In other words, you're 75% to make the final if you hit gray. Overall, your likelihood of making the final would be 58 and one third percent if you press the first button. Let's compare this to if someone else presses the first button. If someone else presses the first button, 
one third of the time it's going to be green. In that case, there's a 50% chance they save you and you move on to the final. There's a one third chance they hit the red button and then you're guaranteed to make it to the final. And there's a one third chance they hit the gray button. In which case you have a decision to make. Do you press the second button or do you sit out again? If you volunteer to press the second button, then there's a 50% chance that you make it to the final because you either hit green or red and it's 50-50. If the other person presses the second button, then again, there's only a 25% chance of you getting eliminated because it's 50% that they hit the green button and 50% that they choose not to save you. In other words, there's a 75% chance that you would make it to the final if someone else was pressing the second button and randomly deciding to save you or not. So if you compare these options, it turns out that your overall probability of survival is 66 and two thirds percent if someone else presses the first button and you plan to press the second button. And your overall probability of survival is 75% if you plan to sit out both times, which is better than if you press either the first or second buttons. And that's actually a big difference. When you're competing for millions of dollars, the difference between 58 and one third percent versus 66 and two thirds percent or 75% could mean hundreds of thousands of dollars of equity or expected winnings. So it's important to make the right decision to maximize your odds. The last scenario I wanna talk about is if you're in a situation where you're confident that one person wants to save you and one person does not want to save you, what's your best chance of survival in that scenario? It turns out that your best chance of survival is convincing the person that wants to save you that they should press the first button. In that case, there's a one third chance that they hit the green button and save you. There's a one in three chance they hit the red button and they're eliminated and there's a one third chance they hit the gray button and then either you or the third person would hit the second button and it's 50-50 whether you would survive. So the overall probability of you surviving if the person that wants to save you presses the first button is 83.3% and it doesn't matter if you press the second button or if you sit out again. Just to recap, there are four different scenarios we considered. If both players want to save you, your best strategy would be to sit out both times and never press a button. If both players don't want to save you, then it doesn't really matter what you do. If you have no idea what the other players would do, then you want to sit out both times and never press a button. If there's one person that wants to save you and one person that doesn't, then you want to let the person who would save you go first. And it doesn't matter if you press the second button or not. One commonality between all these scenarios is that sitting out altogether is never an inferior option. And oftentimes it'll be the best option if you're playing this game. It's actually only an equal option to pressing buttons if you're 100% certain that other players don't want to save you. And realistically, how can you be 100% certain that someone won't save you? Even if they're very close with each other, maybe there's a chance you could persuade them to save you. The reason why it's so much better to avoid pressing a button is because the risks strongly outweigh the rewards. If you hit red, you're out of the competition entirely. But if you hit green, you don't necessarily win entirely. You just make it to the final where you still have to battle against another player for the win. I'm not going to spoil what happened on the actual show, but you can kind of get a sense of who might have saved who and therefore what their best strategy should have been. But no disrespect to anyone who may have done something different from what I said, it's a lot of pressure to actually be in that situation playing for a large amount of money. The show didn't seem to specify what would have happened if no one wanted to press a button. But if I was to play this game, I personally would try to sit out altogether and would try to get the person that likes me more to press the first button. If you're considering applying for Squid Game The Challenge Season 2, which is casting right now, I hope this helps show that even if you're playing games of chance, there are still things that you can do to improve your chance of success. Thanks for watching. 
make sure to like or subscribe if you want to hear me talk about other games or game shows.